Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on the new save file. We are of course going to be jumping in as our favourite boy. Where the hell is he? Tainted Keeper. Hell yes, really looking forward to playing this guy. Definitely one of my favourite characters. Uh, as for the question of the day, I've already got one in mind. What is your favourite parody of, of anything? I, I, I've been watching a few various things recently um, and for some reason... All I've got in my head right now, and I've had it in my head basically all day, which is why this question even came to mind. Um, have any of you seen the video uh, that's the song from Lazy Town where the pink haired girl is like cooking and it's got, she's like singing about it and then there's little John in the background going, okay, yeah. I, for some reason, I've just got that in my head, and I find it fucking hilarious, um, and I'm gonna have to go watch it after this, because it's just in my head now. Um, <laughs> and it just got me thinking, like, parodies are like, my, my favourite thing. I know that not everyone likes them, they're not like everyone's cup of tea, but I, I really enjoy parody stuff. Um, oh shit, we've got this thing where the coins disappear. Oh no, <laughs> that curse where the coins disappear for a certain amount of time, even though they already do. Um, managed to get that nice. Okay, good amount of money so far, but yeah, absolutely love this character so, so much. Now, this is slightly precarious. I think I'm going to have, what I'm going to have to do here is um, basically bait these guys into hitting the wall, damn you. Okay, that was fine. This guy is just going to be a nightmare all around, isn't he? Okay. There you go. Not too bad, not too bad. And we got a key. Of course, we're getting to all our shops for free as this guy anyways. Actually, do we? No, maybe we, maybe we don't by default because he hasn't got the store key with him. Normally, he starts with the store key, right? Am, am I wrong about this? Or is that normal keeper that starts with the store key and this guy just has free shops in general? I can't remember. One of those is wrong and I'm not quite sure which one. But yeah, I do apologize for not yesterday's episode of the day before. I was salty and I let it get to me. And I probably shouldn't have uh, put out an episode that was so salt-filled. Um, I'm sure for you guys and viewing pleasure, it's not the most enjoyable thing to just hear me complain all the time. I constantly talk about how I don't like watching YouTubers that all they do is complain. So when I do that, call me out on it because I'm being a little, little bitch boy and I should stop. Um, so I apologize. <laughs> I was just, I was just having a bad day. I shouldn't have recorded an episode when I was when I'm having a bad day. It's really not a good idea to record in that situation, I'll be honest. Um, shall I go for a planetarium here? Or not? I don't know. I've got this, um, I've got this devil disc here that I'm sort of holding on to just to basically see if I need it for the boss and then, yeah, potentially use it there. Okay, we're not going to get every coin in this room here, but we'll try our best. I think we do have lucky coins unlocked, uh, which is good. We unfortunately don't have golden pennies unlocked yet, but I think we can get that from this guy, right? Is it uh, Mega Satan? <sighs> okay, that's pretty fucking good. Um, unfortunately, this room here is not great for us. Can you can you lob your heads over here so I can uh, shoot them and get the money? But yeah. Gonna have quite a lot of money from that. Unfortunately, missed out on some money here. Um, right. Well, this is a this is a decent shop here. Okay. So, alpha coin. Twenty five percent chance to spawn a coin. Twenty five percent chance to spawn a card or pill. A variety of effects based on the current room and exploration. That's pretty good. Obviously, there's there's a lot of really good stuff in here. I'll be honest. Um, first of all, let's just destroy these two. Make sure I don't accidentally buy anything during all of this. Um, I shouldn't, but I really want to be able to buy two items here. So this is a four room. So that's a four room charge. And then I could get this to lower that charge. Or I could go for the lemon head, which is pretty decent. Or I could go for the pale, which is also pretty decent. I think I'm going to go for this setup here with this and then use it. Um, and take this for the charge. You see, like, this is going to gain us money and stuff. I, I, I think this is a good a good thing to grab. 
Uh, it can do various other effects. I'm assuming one of those has probably hurt me at some point, so I've got to be uh, kind of ready for that. Right. Also, I could just die here. Oh, I got this little dagger. Oh, I remember what this does now. I haven't had it in ages. Oh, this is really unfortunate because I'm going to miss out on loads of that money there. Just because of how that room's laid out. That was a shame. We lost out on most of our boss money there, which means we're missing out on this. Come on. Damn you, game. Uh, there is a penny over here, although we don't have a bomb, so I don't know how I'm going to get it. Come on. Petrified poop? It's too late for you, my friend, I think. I think it's too late for you, Petrified Poop. I'm pretty sure we destroyed everything. This is very upsetting. <laughs> we destroyed all the poop. How could I? How could I? Ah, whatever. It's fine. Right, we're missing out on the glass eye there, but hey, her. It is what it is. We will get gone. Although, oh, oh, damn you, game! How can you do this to me? It's a damage up. I'd love it. Damn you, game! <laughs> you're, so, you're such a brutal bastard sometimes. Um, actually, one sec. Ah, fuck. Sometimes this room has money in it. It doesn't this time. Anyways, let's continue on. Hope for the best. That was sad. That was sad, but it does mean we have more money for a devil deal here, or angel deal, whichever we want to take, but I think I'll take devil. How'd that miss? As much of the money here as I can. Can you stop doing what you're doing, sir? Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I got it. Good. I guess I'll take a copper bomb because I don't have any other bombs right now, but it's not my ideal choice. Gonna miss out on one there. Just gotta hope for like nickels and dimes, really. Check out the shop real quick. We've got the Halo on the cheap. I must de certainly take that. Halo on the cheap is very, very good by me. Okay, what are you doing, good sir? I'm disturbed by you. Managed to get all of those. Oh, shit, there's creep on the ground. I did not... Like, I saw it, but for some reason I never register yellow creep as dangerous. I'm not I'm not sure what it is about yellow creep, but my brain never never sees it as a threat. Like there's quite a few enemies in Fiend Folio that drop yellow creep, and I just just completely blank to them every single time. It's a it's a real problem I have. Damn it. Wait. Apparently picking up that that, that um Cursed Penny didn't actually give me any healing, which I'm surprised by. I realise that this little fool's going to jump on me at some point. There you go. Not going to bother going in there yet. Not probably going to get any pennies out of this room. I, I gambled for it. There's no point. It didn't mean anything. Right. Thank you for actually exploding, Bomb. That makes me happy. Okay, we got him into second phase instantly, which is great. Don't remember what this yellow version of him really does, so don't be surprised if I die here. He's clearly got quite a multitude of attacks. Okay, we got up to 30 at least. Check this first. Sadly, not what we're looking for. We got two items out of this. We got um, this, which is terrible for us right now on this character. And then we got this, which is an empty heart container, damage permanently for every time you take damage between picking up this item and killing the floor boss. You will also be, you will also be unable to pick up hearts until you, um, okay, well that's, that's fine because we don't need hearts. Unless it counts for coins, then we're fucked. <laughs> right, I'll take that. I don't think there was anything else in the shop that really garnered my interest, so I'm just gonna go. Uh, but I have a feeling Bootlicker can be pretty good because we can manifest situations in which we hurt ourselves and get HP back. Um, like, pretty easily, to be honest. Ooh, there's a dime. Been waiting on that, thank you. Dun, dun. Wait, 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 wait a minute. We already got some damage there. Oh, no, that's from money equals power. Stupid me. 
Like, I need to remember my damage is like basically always going to be fluctuating because of money equals power. I kind of forgot about that. Honestly, our alpha coin here is not doing a ton, but every little helps, really. That's all I've got to say about this. Good. Now, I guess I can't remember what these enemies do, I'll be honest. I know that they drop flies now, though. Um, I think, yeah, I, I, I ignored my item room on that last floor. I'm honestly absolutely fine with having done that. Uh, I'll take whatever this is. Varicose veins. It's not great. Oh, shit. I should be using this in combat more often. It did a, it did a combat thing there. Calm yourself, good fella. Right, let's try and use it in combat a little more often and see if that pays out. Yeah, we definitely get free shops here. 20% um, chance to give a bonus charge on room clear, spawns a battery and pickup. I like the idea of that. Um, Pisces is, of course, great. Um, activates a random non-stat related pill effect. It's kind of interesting, but not something I'm super hyped about. Okay, so this this does different things in different rooms, and one of the things it can do in shops is spawn extra shop items. I wonder if it can spawn actual, like, items, rather than just, uh, like, keys and stuff. We do have a golden poop here as well, which is really nice. Okay, this floor went well. Should have left that coin on the floor, realistically. That was a super good bomb hit there. Really delayed it. I left it way too late, but it, it worked out so well for us. Having a really hard time picking up those pennies. Very good item there. Um, but I want to check out this first. This is insanely good. So we'll be taking that. Um, and then, yeah, we'll take this as well. Okay, all around very, very good stuff here. I really like the idea of this battery charge thing, giving us extra charges on rooms. Should mean our alpha coin can be used quite a lot, really. Uh, I'll check this out. It's a 12 room. Yeah, I'll take a 12 room. And I will uh, pop some money into this. We got the D6 out of it. That's like... Oh. I don't know what to think of that. Like, th the D6 is, of course, better. Of course it is. But, at the same time, I don't know. I really like the idea of this alpha coin. But yeah, our fire rate is absolutely nuts now because of uh, this setup we got going on. Wow, so many uh, nickels there. Right, make sure to use this in a room this time. So if we use this in here... Okay, it just fires towards the enemy and it gives us a card. Emperor card. Lucky penny there. Nice. Yeah, I'm kind of more inclined to stick with the alpha coin, I'll be honest. I think it's a little more fun, even though the D6 is, of course, really good. Like, look how many charges we're getting for this thing as well. Goddamn Eve. This Eve's nail polish thing, it's, it's so insanely good with any low fire rate character. I mean, we could get the double trouble. I think we I think we take this. I think this will actually be kind of nutty. Because it lowers our fire rate, but as long as we're hitting shots, it really doesn't matter. Yeah, it literally doesn't matter. <laughs> it literally makes no difference to us. Um, and we'll be taking that, thank you. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, but D6, I am going to leave you high and dry, my guy. Um, high and dry indeed. Really should be trying to get my devil deal on, but I don't think I can even. Actually, I don't know how it'll work. I'll have to. I'll have to test how how the devil thing works with this character. I'll find out if I get any more devil deals. Which I, I ignored another item room. Whoops. I could. I could technically go beast route and then get those items back. Did I? Did I even go to the shop on that last floor? Yeah, I did. I got. I got Eve's mascara from there, didn't I? But yeah, getting Eve's nail polish and Eve's mascara. Two pretty good ones back to back there. Mum Teresa, don't really care for it. Necro one, let's just do the boss. The mark, pretty good. Okay. Move forward. Yeah, I should be trying to do Mega Satan here, really. I haven't been focusing on that, and that's a very primary concern here. We've got enough time to... 
get some more devil deals though, I think. Although we have a 0% chance right now. Oh, look at that. Look at, look at this fire rip. This is what happens with this uh, this nail polish when you have, like, multi-shot. It's, it's just so absurd with multi-shot. It's, it's very, very broken. And I love it. It means literally no matter how low our fire rate gets, like, we have we have this to keep us going. I'd like to get a bit more money here. I'm kind of missing out on a lot of the money that's available to me here. Because of situations like this. Just charged a four-room charge active item in one room. <laughs> And in here, there's there's options, which is fine. I'll try this out. I'll leave everything else, unfortunately. I like the extra mini boss room if we can get it. And Petrified Poop obviously isn't really a primary concern anymore. Good. Okay, that was... I missed out on a nickel there, but that was a lot of money gained. Good, good, good. I just love this goddamn character so much. He's just... Like, this is an insane run as him, but he's just so fun in general. Don't bother going for those coins. It's a bit too risky. And we did get a mini boss here as well. Good, good. Check this out as well. We have a wild card. I'm going to do this just for the extra money. I mean, that's not what I meant, but... Be careful with those Bernie boys. We've also got a good amount of speed too, which really helps this character shine. Wild card, I'm going to save for the next floor. Secret room, I'm not entirely sure about, but I'll check here. There you go. Possum's ear, or too... Ah, too many options is fun, but... I'm going to gamble on it. It's fun, but the, the, the problem with it is, it removes our guarantee of a shop every floor. But it adds the ability to get more shops, so maybe it's better. It also removes our ability to easily get devil deals too, which is equally as bad for going for Mega Satan. So this might not be a Mega Satan run. Hey, her. Right, to the next floor. Good, good. Pop the world real quick. We got, we got a planetarium. Although, again, that won't be a planetarium anymore, so... Yeah, I kind of ruined that idea too. It's an interesting item, but it does... It does spoil a few things. So, this room... Wait, so does this still hurt me on the way in or not? I'm really not sure. Because the thing is, if I go in there and it, it is going to hurt me, then I, I might be stuck inside it. I guess I could gamble and um, bomb through and hope for the best. Just see what we get. I, I think that's probably the better shout, just in case. Just gotta hope it's a shop. It's a shop. Although it's a... It's not a great shop. Uh, I'll still take this though. Okay, that was lucky. We got very lucky there. And this... One of them is an actual planetarium, so... Wait, is it? I don't know. Maybe that's a treasure room. I think that's a treasure room, actually. Yeah, it's an actual treasure room. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll take that. Why not? Okay, that doesn't... Oh, that's, that's actually not great. 
It's fine. But that's that, that's kind of lowered our range quite a bit. But they, they hang in the air, which is somewhat useful in itself. Oh, I see what this room is. Got to try and revive all of these guys. No, thank you. Okay, yeah, that has lowered our range very significantly, which isn't great. Um, and then our actual shop. We can get another item room in here. Nah, it's fine, but I don't really want it. Uh, go back and get out other rooms. I'm hoping to just get more shops than anything else. The only thing is, this shop in here didn't look like a uh, a keeper, a, a tainted keeper layout. It looked like a normal layout with different item pools. So I'm hoping that's not, not going to be the case every time. Oh, Lord. Okay, so what, I think whenever we put our first lock in is whatever this locks in as. So we've got to be on it with this. And there you go. Yeah, unfort so we've kind of ruined shops, to be honest. Like, none of the shops are keeper layouts anymore. So the shops are going to be kind of garbage. This probably wasn't a good grab. I'll be honest. This probably wasn't a good idea. We missed out on a planetarium. And we've, we're going to miss out on a few good shops. Although, this is the last floor to get shops, I suppose. So... It's not that bad. That was a very, very bad hit there. Dude. Um, so this room... I don't really know what we want on this room. Dice room, cash room, I guess chest room. That's pretty good. I mean, actually, to be fair, no, it's not. We don't. We literally don't need fire rate for any reason, so it's not that good, actually. Oh my god, it's slowing down so much. Okay, so... We got a shop here again, so let's uh, line up for it. Yeah, it's just, it's not great, is it? Not getting the, the proper shops that we should be getting. But like I said, we'll probably get more shops overall. I guess I'll go arcade here. Yeah, I don't think any of that's anything we need. Interesting, I guess. It's an item that I'm like, I think it's got potential to be really good, but it's, it's very RNG based. Right. Let's go. You could argue they could have been a lot better if I had the D6. Probably, but still. I'm fine with the decisions I made. Wow. Yeah, so even our devil deal isn't there. We, there is an angel deal here, though. Which I was not expecting, and that's pretty good. Right, uh, Polaroid. This is tricky, because we probably should do this at some point. Do you know what? I'm going to do this because we do have a way of generating money. So it's like not that bad. Okay, we unfortunately do have the man, the myth, the legend, the awful Kingpin. But Pinshot instantly kills Kingpin, so... It's all fine, everything's fine. Yeah, these, these homing rockets from this item we just got from the Angel deal. Pretty good stuff. And the good thing is we're just leaving, like, a trash load of tears everywhere. Unfortunately, our range slash shot speed is pretty bad. Now, these rockets do a good bit. They do a good bit. Basically, we want to leave tears lingering in all the spots where enemies spawn, so that they all get conjoined immediately and instantly die. 
This is the way. Luckily, everything's very, very easy for us to kill, at least. It's nice that I can leave the tears just linger there, to be honest. I really like that. It helps out a lot. And yeah, the fact that we have a good way to generate money, uh, just in case. I've got a really itchy nose right now. It's pissing me right off. Always happens when I'm recording. Nose doesn't itch for a really long time, and it's like, whoa! Hang on, you're doing something where you need both hands, like, all the time? Oh my god, stop! It's the worst. There you go, look, that's the way it's done. We got pennies galore here. How did you not take any damage, Angel? I find that hard to believe. I love the fact that we're getting so many charges here, which makes these rockets so good. Beautiful. Got one half of you down. What in the fuck? I, this is very confusing right now. I have to be very careful. Don't even know how I killed that other half of the Loki. He must have just teleported into uh, my shots. Well, that was easy. And then from this we get Chasm. Um, nah, it's not not super useful for us right now. Oh hello. Okay. All in all, this was good. Just seeing if we got any items out of those guys. Why not try? Cool. Down we go. So we do have one angel key piece. There's a chance we get the other one, but it's a pretty low chance, let's be honest. But we need to be kind of full clear in these floors to look for special rooms, because they have a chance to be anything. We don't really care about picking up coins at this point. We'll try if we can, but it's not a, a major thing. Okay, crack this up and see what we get. I mean, Bumbo's probably pretty good. <laughs> he can be a little bit of a bit of a a bad boy sometimes and drop bombs on you, but I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. Is he already max rank? Is that max rank, Bumbo? No, it's one more rank, isn't there? There's one more rank. But yeah, he won't always be able to get to those coins. So eat him up, chubby boy. So here we've got another item room. Okay, for some reason the description's got broken on um on this mod. I, I guess I'll take secretion, why not? Oh, the item doesn't even work. Um one second. Okay, let's carry on. Sorry, I just wanted to tell the developer that there was an issue with their mod. Um so it's a very good mod and I've never seen it broken before, so. I thought I'd just let them know. They've probably just done and pushed an update uh, incorrectly, more than likely. That's normally what this sort of stuff is. Right. But yeah, so far, pretty good run. Really hoping we can get this other key piece. Bumbo's never going to get any of these coins, is he? He has to be really close to the enemies we kill for this to work out for him. Dude, Bumba, you missed it again. You gotta be quicker than that, my good fat lad. You can get coins from my active, I guess, at least. Hey, you got a few there. Take them, big lad. You gotta be close to leveling up now. Like, real close. Gotta be like two or three coins off at max. Right, come over here, Bumbo. Get close to this guy. There you go. You should be able to get that one. There you go. 
Max rank Bombini. No longer have to worry about him uh, having to collect coins. Don't know what the fuck hit me then, I'll be honest. I think that thing just kind of whipped me. Da -da. That is unfortunate, because I'm pretty sure there's a devil deal in there, but not an angel. I'm only seeing... that That's a devil deal, right? There's a treasure room. There's a shop. Damn it. I'm going to go for the shop, I think. I'll take that. Right, let's get gone. Damn it. Come on, Angel Deal. You know you can show your face to me. It's just, it's very rare to get Angel Deals, I think. I think the percent of them showing up is, is pretty low. We actually do need to be picking up money now. Soy milk? So yeah, I don't think soy milk's worth it at all, really. Just because of the fact that um, in this situation, we've basically got unlimited fire rates. So it seems like kind of a waste. It'd be fun, but I just don't think it's necessary. Like, I think we'd still be pretty much just as strong, really. It just... Yeah, I just don't think it'd have the same impact. Sadly, this is a door we can't go through because it's a cash room door. The Bob's Head. I think I'm okay, thanks. Okay, come on, Angel Deal. You can show your face to me. Did you just drop a bomb, Bumbo? I think you did, didn't you, cheeky bastard? Get a few coins here and there, room to room, but we've got 85. We'd have to really worry about it. Got a few of those boys. Oh, God. Freaking laying landmines down everywhere. Right. I want to go and, like I said, just check out any other rooms that we have because there could potentially be another special room on this floor. Um, like a special room or a, or a bedroom or an arcade. There you go. And unfortunately, nothing particularly good there. Dice room. I think we have to hit the chest room, aren't we? Suicide King? I don't think so. Come on, chest. Give me something good. Beautiful. No bumber. My coin. We got a pin in the mitts. Oh, we got lots of pins in the mitts, actually. Shit. It's okay. We little landmines everywhere. <laughs> There's no way they can, like, dive up on me without me seeing... Oh, this room doesn't count? Damn it. I was hoping this count room would count a special room. Maybe it does once, like, the doors open, but only once the doors open. You still have to meet, the, like, the bar to entry. Dude, no, 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 no. That was close. That was close. You need to just stop eating things, you big fat bastards. Here's our mini boss room. Sadly, we don't get one this floor. We have to hope that after the boss we get one. Which I know is going to be unlikely. And then I guess we could technically get one on the future floors as well. But again, unlikely. Reed's heart. Nice. Unfortunately, we did get one, but it's none of the rooms we care about. Pop in here. And we get synth oil. I don't really care about the, the mushroom. Yeah, I guess we'll do this. Why not? Didn't really think about it, but yeah, why not? Obviously, obviously so that the keepers are good unlock as well. Oh, I kind of forgot that all three of these rooms count. We got an error room there. We got... Is this a devil room? I, oh, I got... We got a devil room. God damn it. I 
guess I'll take the devil room. Oh, I missed it. Bugger. Doesn't matter anyways. Goddamn missed it. Here we got nothing of use. And yeah, here we got an error room, which I guess I'll take after the boss. Damn, this was not good. Like, I actually think I could pretty easily die in here, to be honest. Because I can't fucking see, uh, which is probably the main issue. But also, I don't have any way of generating coins now, because I used my active in that last room for some stupid reason. But yeah, I don't have any good way of generating coins right now. I mean, I kill him pretty quick, which is good, but I just think my visibility is going to be so poor. And the frame rate is actually pretty poor as well. This is going to be pretty rough, I think. Maybe we shouldn't have taken this risk. Can't believe I missed out on that devil deal as well. What a fool. Oh, God. The stacking tears, it's making the game like so bad. I mean, the good thing is, he does generate children and flies and stuff, which will help. But, like, they're periodical and their coins don't stick around, so they might not come at the right time. God, this is rough. I mean, we killed him pretty fast. Also, those coins just felt like have fallen in him. Spawn more babies. That seems to do a lot of damage to you when you did that. Not the sort of attack I'm looking for here. This attack's real bad. I have to kind of stay positive and hope for the best here, because this attack can do all sorts of weird shit to me. God damn the frame rate. It's the tears landing. The effect of the tears hitting the floor is, like, real bad. There's no way I don't get hit here. Like, what the actual shit's going on? How did I not get hit there? Dude. Game's lagging so bad. Just chill out with all the tears, game. Let them fall. Dude. That's some horse shit. How the hell am I meant to avoid this? If I die now, I'm going to be very peeved. There's nothing much I can do. Okay, there you go. He's dead. Wow. So the keeper unlocked. Good, good. Wait, if I go to the error room... Hmm. I'm pretty sure if I go to the error room, it's going to just fucking throw me down the... Uh, it's going to just throw me down to uh, the devil, isn't it? I can't really do that. Just go for that. Take the rose, why not? Damn it. Right, up we go. Come on, give us an angel deal, please. Give us that sweet, sweet angel deal. No angel deal there. And it's a cash room as well. I just got a prayer. Where we get a lot of special rooms, and one of them's an angel. Or that we find a random angel, angel statue lying around. It's also something that could help. No angel again, but we do get an item room here though at least. What are you doing exactly? I don't really understand you as an enemy, I'll be honest. It'd be nice if you didn't just sit over the rocks where I can't hit you, yeah. Bastard. Wow, Sister Maggie. Real good stuff there, golden bombs coming our way. There's got to be a few more special rooms about. Do not like this. This is horrendous. Just throw your little baby. There you go. Oh.
Right. Back a few. Ooh, what is that trinket that just dropped? Gotta do, gotta do the extra rooms just in case. I have to. Also, there's the mini boss thing to fight as well, which we might as well fight. Like, I can't even kill you until I'm done with everything else, so... You, you are going to say you're killable now, good. A few pot ghosts in here. There's that extra mini boss. I've been locked in my cage. Come on, this room, how is this room not over yet? Right, extra mini boss here. Oh, wait, this, this is the extra mini boss? What the hell? Is this normal? Of course, he gave us flies. Why would he give us angel items? So, is this one also going to be him? No. Weird. Very, very strange. Sadly, this time around, no angel deal. We will see if we get one on the next floor, but it's pretty doubtful at this point. Maybe Dad's key will come and clutch and save us. You never know. You never know. All but the spot by the player will become copper bombs. Okay. Not exactly as exciting as I thought it would be. Wow. Okay, that was easy. The auction gavel has been unlocked. And through we go. Yeah, not much chance of anything happening now, but I think special rooms aren't really common in this floor anyways, so... I mean, the wafer would help, but it doesn't actually really. Um, kind of interesting that we have this with the slowdown tiers. Like, how does this work? They accelerate as they travel. Okay, it kind of just fixed our tiers. Sadly, so close to Mega Satan. If we hadn't have taken the um, taken the the options thing, we'd have just gone for it as it were, and uh, tried to go to the devil side of things. Could have worked out. Literally no idea how I didn't get hit there. Bed bug. Careful of the lasers here. I didn't really clock them before I started moving around. I don't even remember what special rooms can spawn on this floor. Like, can you get sack rooms in this floor and stuff? I don't think you can, can you? God damn, imagine if we had deep pockets right now. Dude, whatever this is, I hate it. Like, where's this button that I haven't pressed? Oh, I've got to just kill the enemies now, I see. That was horrible. I hated that room so much. So, so much. I should really go and kill the boss before doing any more exploring, to be honest, just so we get that kill in that under our belt. Taken care of. This guy is <laughs> so wrecked right now. Hey, you should push Bumbo's bomb away as well. You ain't no trolling me with no bombs, boy. Keep us penny. Yeah, let's uh, let's scoot back and just see if we can get anything done. But I highly doubt it. You're gonna get many more chests as well, I don't think. Can you actually destroy those urns? Because I've seen situations in rooms like that before where it looks like you can get behind them somehow. But I've, I've never understood how to. Ah, I don't need that right now. I'd rather keep my speed. 
Okay, this room was unnecessary. The rooms like that, are kind of, they kind of trick you out. Makes you think you got to fight stuff, but you actually don't. Sadly, it ain't looking very good for us. Then there's any special rooms that can spawn here. But we prevail. We keep trying. Why the hell not? I mean, to be fair, I'm also just enjoying this run, so... We've got a lot done, though. We got Hush and Boss Rush done this run, which is no simple task. I mean, is this character... It depends. This character's, like, super duper fragile, but also, like, one of the most survivable characters in the game. It's, like, in... Like, in regular rooms, he is, like, super, super survivable. But in, in um, boss rooms and long fights, like Hush... He's very, very fragile. It's a, it's a weird combination, really. Well, here's our extra mini boss, at least. I should destroy your bike before you threw it. I love that. Calm down, good sir. And this is our last room. So mini bosses is the last thing we get to fight. Sad times. Damn it, it couldn't have been Dad's key, could it? I guess I'll open this eternal chest in the one-off chance that it is, uh... It is actually Dad's key. I've got to try it, haven't I? Ah. Right. We go. Sad times, but it is what it is. Still, regardless, a very fun run. Lots achieved. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.